Techies and Tech X. Welcome back. My name is Mac here at the McGraver 7 channel. For brand new people coming across the channel, hit that subscription bell and get ready for some nice technological news. 466.63 has come across our shores and it's time to size it up with some benchmarks and some patch notes. So let's go ahead and scroll right into it. You can see that they optimized some cool stuff for NMS. No Man's Sky introduces some NVIDIA love with DLSS, but well, AMD fire back with this month with their form of DLSS and NVIDIA. I would be very interested to see who wins. It's a fun month, honestly. Technology is coming off and the additional games that also have some supports besides me going to a versus mode before that. We have Chivalry 2, Sniper's Ghost Warrior in contrast to the nvidia reflex integration for war thunder and the escape from turok the game technology supports for as far as the 3000 series of the ti for most lucky people that got those and the situation of the game driver for as far as the vr the gpu is connected to the 4k tv and the system may freeze while launching the, the virtual reality game which doesn't seem to work Hit a reset, that's probably more than likely going to be your workaround, it, but it's no more because it's fixed. It should be. Leave a comment down below if it's still prevalent. The RX 20 series, the 20 series, the old classic, accompanied with the 16 and 10, the HDMI 4K at 120Hz display is not available from the display setting. This is now available. You can definitely be able to get a more of a higher hertz. For as far as the game improvements that are open, and they're still working on situations for colors and the shapes and the freestyle filters utilized when the HDR, the resolve inside of that situation is waiting for the next driver. They also have some specific points for HDMI that shows flickering in the HDMI portions of no HDR. If you're experiencing this flicking, reboot the system. Though they did say last time that they would be fixed within the driver if they did they fell a little short as well as wow shadows the same as last before for as far as the flickering screen arkham knight with the turbulent smoke and the virtual reality with the lagging in the launching portion of the gpu or hardware in the monitoring running in the background a little too high youtube inside of the playback shuttering which you can fix with the directx 9 input and for the portion in that plug and the display may flicker in the or losing signal launching the games on an adaptive sync in the VRR monitoring and multi-configuration display modes. So that is pretty much where we are with our patch notes, but where are we with our benchmarks? Let's go ahead and size them up. Let's go ahead and take a look at 1080p and DirectX 12. Now, one of the things that I would say would Starting off, the 1080p department seems to favor the older driver. As you can see, the older driver on the left, newer driver on the right, hardware accelerator on, on the top, and hardware accelerator off on the bottom. So with that being said, you can definitely see where the hardware accelerator off in the newer driver definitely gives it a little bit of shine. But when the overall performance comes down, we can kind of scroll down. You can see that, well, it's not going to be too much past the point for point. The older driver definitely does win with the graphics portion, but with a 4K department, oh me oh my. And this is where you see the teeter totter effect. Hardware accelerator on, definitely in the older driver, gives a run for the money with the hardware accelerator off on with the newer driver. But it gets even better when you size it up within the DirectX 12 department. This is where you start to see some things shine. DirectX 11, 4K, wow. Hardware accelerator off, stills the show. Just to see how Windows sometimes can have a performance issue for most people that are having issues with game titles, if it be Warzone, Fortnite, whichever game, hit the hardware accelerator off and on and a reset and more than likely it's going to help. Also, make sure that your fan and everything else that you have with your tuning with your GPU is also checked because sometimes with resetting it, or reinstalling a brand new driver can make it a little bit funky with the settings. Refresh, restart, and you're right as rain. But let's continue to see what happens in the DirectX 11 department as we fade into the extreme. Continuing the performance for as far as what we have in the extreme department, 
hardware accelerator off with the newer driver continues to win this is one of the things that i am liking for as far as where they are getting in a driven native 4k they're trying it's really cool to see, but not a percentage increasement for 1080p when you look at just the basic fire strike. This is where you see DirectX 11 and 12 syncing with the 1080p on the lower end, not really winning with this newer driver. So for most people that are experiencing, if you hit that hardware accelerator off and on, you've hit the reset, you've checked your settings and they're all right as rain, do a roll back on the driver, clean install DDU. I'll have a link down below at the very end of the video so you can just get a DDU done and get the day of gameplay started. It's frustrating, but sometimes you just gotta do it. Before this episode, I literally had my PSU die and I had to rip it apart and find out that it was a dead fan that I revived from the dead, which was cool because my main like workhorse computer upstairs is now running again because it would run for 10 minutes with, during gameplay and then crash. And I figured something out new. If most people are having that issue of gameplay, it's probably your PSU. You should probably clean it out. It's surprising what you'll find inside of there. A lot of dust. But moving on, as we continue the very end of the episode of, well, what should we do and how should I install this? The conclusion is that 4K is the favorite. If you are having extreme portions of lovely 4K, then this is the driver for you. If you're low end 1080p and you're not really going to go for anything, so probably the 16 series and the lower series that are probably not going to go for more native 4K, then it's really not going to be the driver for you. And if you're experiencing driver issues, then again, roll back and wait for something or wait for the new windows ecosystem to roll out some framework because i did notice they just did a big install and well it gets a little messy sometimes with windows moving on past that point if you're newer to the network hit that subscription button it's absolutely free helps me out as a creator and if you do accompany it with that notification bell and let it ring out every single time we get some technological news and i just bat it out to the interwebs so stay classy everyone i'll see you guys and gals in the near future and if you do subscribe who knows maybe just maybe jensen will somehow get this video and just be like oh we should totally send this guy an actual graphics card because he's an actual gamer yes that'd be cool i can never find him and i really want a next gen card like it's hard it's like literally the lotto and like I'm, I refuse to pay scalping prices. I'm not doing it. It's MSRP all the way, baby. Woo -woo. Anyways, everyone, I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay classy, and I'll see you there.